I really appreciate you guys stopping by the video today, and um, I'm really excited about this one. It's um, definitely the hardest thing I've ever done. Um, I've probably spent at least 10 hours getting this all set up and trying to find the best resources to put on this video and then kind of how to um, to frame it for you guys. But um, it does seem a little tech savvy at first, but with my guide and with some of the guides I show you and the resources I'm going to give you, um, I know that you guys can get through this and I know that you're going to be pretty happy about it. it. It may not be that bad for some people, but I know for others it will be. Um, I had a lot of trouble following the guides that were released and I um, I end up getting some help from people on the telegram and I really appreciate them but I also want my comment section in this video to be as much as a help as the telegram and if we cannot help you in the telegram or not, not in the telegram but in my comment section to figure that out I'm gonna send you to somewhere where they can figure it out because I want everyone to get this set up because this is awesome this is the first um, kind of look we have at the Shelly test net and I'm really excited about it but the reason I'm making this video is because I um, I was having a lot of trouble with it personally and I had to get a lot of help from other people and I couldn't find any resources that really got it working and this guide is going to be for Windows um, I'm gonna have a few different guides so this is the Windows series right here um, tomorrow there's gonna be a video for setting up transactions and I'm, I'm not sure if staking is currently out on it yet. Um, I know it will be soon. If it is on it, um, that'll be in the video tomorrow or another video the following day. But so this video is going to be just setting up the, the self node, which sounds like not much, but uh, it really was. You got to download a lot of stuff. And this is going to be for Windows 10. Uh, I'm sure it'll work for Windows 7 as well. Uh, they, they tell you to use some other, I think it's like Windows L or WLSL which I, I have no clue what that is, and people were telling me to use that instead, but no, I wanted to use Windows 10 because that's my desktop, and I wanted to make a video that was more um, at the core of everyone else, but I'm sorry for rambling on. Uh, also, I spent a lot of time on this. Uh, what, what means the most to me is if you guys watch this thing all the way through, um, that would really promote my channel. I don't get paid for anything, so I also accept uh, donations in Bitcoin, Cardano and Bat, but don't worry about it if you don't need to. Just leave a like on the video and watch the whole thing. That'd be more more to me than anything. But <clears throat> so step one. Uh, also, I'm gonna have all these links in the description. There's gonna be like a little guide of its own in the description with some of the commands and some uh, like all the links in order. Uh, I might have to make like a public Google Doc to do this because it's kind of so much, but. So you're gonna to need to install a few things in your computer to get this running. Um, they're all secure. Uh, a lot of it's on GitHub and a lot of it's just Git and Rust. And so first things first, you're just gonna to wanna to come here and you're gonna clone this download. So we'll download this zip. And um, if you wanna just do it, do it using Git, if you know how to do, use Git, you don't have to do this, but we'll just have this downloaded. We'll open it up and we'll uh, hide it real quick. So now that we got that, you're also going to want to come here. This will be the second link in the description down below. This is, um, see I don't really know how to pronounce this, I'm just going to say Jorm Mugander. These are the two .x files you need in the thing. And um, these are kind of like the commands you use to get everything up and running. So, and also, so there's scripts that people have made, so we'll go ahead and download this as well. See, if we open this up, you see what I'm talking about. It's just two .x files, and you need these in there to um, to run the script that I have that sets up the whole thing for you pretty simplistically. Um, but yeah, so now that we got that, we need to go to... So I'm going to have you guys install a couple things. So the first thing you're going to want is um, Git. Git's pretty nice. Uh, it's, it's what a lot of programmers use to um, install stuff and just pretty much work in collaboration but so what I want you guys to install is this version of git um, you just want to use all the default values so anything I have you guys download today just accept everything um, with the default values it's not going to be anything where it adds more stuff to your computer it's just all um, like open source good things so it's not gonna fucking put anything else on there so yep just download the 64-bit version of git uh, just take a minute setting that all up and then go through it and then 
So I'll give you guys a couple seconds to do that. And just feel free to pause the video at any time. So once you guys have that set up, you're going to need to download a couple more things. And like I said, this is all. I'm going to rewatch the video and make sure this is all in order in the description down below. And I also really apologize for the length of this video. I want to make it quick, but I also want to make sure I go everything, go over everything, and um, kind of explain the problems that I ran into. Because I mean, I, I honestly, it took me a good three days to get this thing up and running and it was a couple hours each day at least and um, yeah, I just I don't want to make you guys go through that I want you guys to have this up in less than less than an hour you know so the next thing you're gonna need is the rust compiler and um, I'm not too informed on what rust is I'm pretty sure it's a development environment yeah that's what it says right there um, it's just essentially what this uses to run so you want to download this right here, the rustup init.x. So you just want to download that. And then after you guys have that downloaded, just use all the default values. Make sure you're um, running it for uh, like your, your operating system. So then after that, I think we only need one more thing, actually. So the last thing that you guys are going to need is something called Visual Studio Build Tools. And this is from Windows. So you're going to go to this website right here. And I'm going to have this. It'll be the next link in the description. I'm going to refresh the page to show you what it looks like. But so yeah, we'll save this. So I'll walk you through this one real quick because there is something you have to select at the end. So just go through this. I already have it downloaded and installed, so it'll be good. Uh, you guys are going to have to restart your computer after this, so just pause the video, mark down where you're at, and then uh, come back. But what you're going to, if this doesn't load for me for some reason, what you're going to want to select is just, um, yeah, see, I already have it on here, so it's not going to work. You're just going to want to select Visual Studio Build Tools 2019. It should, it might say just C++ Build Tools. Just have a check mark on that, click install, and you're good to go. It's going to ask you to restart your computer. you got to do that. And then that's it. So we can either use Git or we can just kind of create the folder our, ourselves. So if you just want to create the folder ourselves, um, we can just do it um, in our desktop if we really want to honestly uh, I had you guys install git we're just gonna use git because I mean you're obviously here wanting to learn some technical know-how and it's really not that bad so we'll just get on git bash you guys are gonna have this installed this is what I had you download earlier um, I have a little bit more trouble with this than um, you would think yeah fuck it we'll just use so oh, I also want you to download um, so there's this app for Windows it's called PowerShell it's what everyone uses instead of the command prop. I'll, I have the link after that. Um, this is just pretty simple download. It's just a .x file. Um, and I'll have the link after the final link. And it'll be the link to the download PowerShell. Uh, this is what we're going to use for everything. So just create, I'm sorry I got my shit so unorganized, but we're going to create a new folder right here. And we're going to call this, um, I'm just going to call it j-youtube. And then this folder right here is going to be the whole Git repo for for the um, the Jornmander file, however you pronounce it. And so you're just going to want to download that, the clone folder that I had you download initially. You're just going to want to take that. So we'll go get it right here. Take all these, drag them into that. So this is just the entire Git repo of all of the files they have for it. So there's a lot of useful stuff in here, but mainly what we're going to be using is the scripts folder. So you're going to want to go into the scripts folder, take this bootstrap file right here. This just gets this is um this makes everything easier for you. All these scripts are set up so you don't have to type in the commands personally, but I like to do a mix of both. I like to use the script files, but also use some of the commands. Like this is the only script file I use because Windows doesn't really like these other ones. So what we're going to do after this is just personally use the um, the commands. Like in, in the video where I teach you how to make transactions, make accounts, and then delegate stake, we're going to use the actual commands instead of using these scripts. 
because they don't work on Windows. Uh, maybe in my Linux video I might show you guys how to uh, use these, but I've just been having too much trouble with them, so we're only going to use this one. And um, so all these scripts do, and from the from what I've gathered, is they just run a bunch of commands. Um, hold on, might as well keep that in there. And you don't want to just drag that in there. If I were you, I would just take it and copy it and paste it in your other folder. And um, you guys can put this wherever you want. It doesn't have to be on your desktop. If you want to be more organized with it, you can do like a Git projects folder or like really just whatever you'd like. So this is the other folder right here, the JYT. This you should probably name it like um, Jornmunder Jorn Node. I wish I knew how to pronounce that before I started this video. But now that we have the Bootstrap folder in there, we only need one more thing, and it is going to be these two files right here. So we need to drag both of these in there. So then, an issue I ran into is it didn't really explain it. it it's weird how you got to do this. You have to um, read the error messages, and they're they're kind of wishy-washy when you read them. But it took me a while to read this one. So this is the uh, the other node sneak peek that I have running. But oh, that's the old one. So let me get this new one. So to get to where you want to go, you just need to type in cd and then control V what you copied from up here so just control C this right here to copy it and then you can pull that back up and then once you type in CD all this is doing is taking you to that place and I, if you already have some experience with this I apologize there's just some people who have no fucking idea and I was one of those people not too long ago so then once we're here we also need to give ourselves permission um, we'll go ahead and exit out of this real quick you're gonna wanna run PowerShell as administrator can't forget that so then now we once we have that as administrator there's this weird policy that you have to do um, I made myself some notes here so we'll do so then type in git it says capital G I don't know if it matters git x did I spell that wrong get it. And dash list. Oh, it's capital L. Okay, so it'll show your scope execution policy. So it, it should say down here, it should say local machine or user. It may be different for yours. And it should say like restricted or undefined. And when it's undefined, it'll default to being restricted. So what you're going to have to do is and these are this is just for running scripts um, scripts can be dangerous if you don't know the source that they're coming from but the script that we're using here today came from the IOHK git repo and I have faith in them and they accept it they've looked through it I, I'm not worried about it messing with my computer so you're just turning off the um, and if you're worried about other scripts on your PC once you're done using this and you get your times worth out of it you can just remember to come back and change this but so you're gonna want to change it so we're going to do set execution policy and then dash execution did I spell it wrong again? sorry it's hard to read my notes and then also uh, <laughs> talk and then type this at the same time and then we're going to want to set it to um, bypass I'm pretty sure. Let me scroll down. Yeah, I have mine set to bypass right there, so let's see if that'll just work. I must have spelled it wrong. Let me go back and fix that. Yep, there needs to be a C there. So then, it, so it didn't say anything, so it probably, and that's what's also annoying, is if it doesn't say anything, it probably worked. So we'll do get execution policy again and you guys should also do this and make sure it says local machine bypass so then now that we have that all squared up we're gonna go up here and we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna go to CD paste control V <clears throat> and then now we're there so now that we're here 
we can just type in pretty sure it's dot forward slash bootstrap and then it'll say all this stuff um, if there's any error messages in between here any red messages you need to read those see what they say um, one could say and this is kind of the problems I ran into uh, one could say oh um, you're missing these two files and it's just because you're missing them or you're missing one of them or you're missing the other or it might say um, restriction access, restricted access and that means you didn't do up here what you needed to do so it says do you want to start it now click yes so what happened is uh, I ran into an error for some reason and that just, just happens sometimes. It takes a while for it to start up. You kind of got to give it a good 10 minutes to uh, get through all of this right here. It usually gets stuck on um, starting task and then task client query. Um, so what I did to fix it is I just um, redid the bootstrap and then I actually moved the folder uh, into here. So I went to users, uh, my user, and then I went to um, documents, wherever that's at right there. And then I um, just did it somewhere else in here. And um, yep, I've got it up and running, no issues. And how you can tell it's up and running is you can just see right here that the blocks are being created and they're being created at like a timely manner. And the longer you leave this up, the more blocks you'll have created. But so what you can do to actually edit this is you can open up um, PowerShell once again. And then you can just uh, CD to this right here. And then if you want to get messing around with this before my video tomorrow, here's a little hint. You just CD to that, and then you just do JCIL, and you can do help. There's some of the commands. And then you can also do um, Jordan Gander. Um, is it? I think it might be dash dash help. Most of the commands that you're going to need for uh, transaction and addresses are in the JCI, JCLI right here. And you can see them right here. But yeah, that's all I have for the video today, guys. And uh, like I said, if you guys have any, if you ran into any problems and you have any questions, uh, I love helping everybody out. I love helping the Cardano community. So just um, feel free to ask questions down below. And if you guys ran into any problems and you see someone mentioning it in the comment, man, um, I'm pretty sure they would enjoy it if you helped them out, and I'm going to try to do it as well. But um, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe. You made it this far. I really appreciate it, man. You're, um, you're helping out my channel a lot because I don't get paid any money for this. But to get me um, in the ranking, I just need watch time. You know, you stayed this long. So I just want to say thanks again, and I hope you guys all have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow if you want to know how to send transactions and create accounts.